Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got my February favourites for you guys. Oh my golly goodness, this year is just literally flying by, I can't even deal. Anyway, throughout the month of February, it was obviously Valentine's Day, it was also Chinese New Year, it was a great month for me. Yeah, it was just a great month for me. So if you'd like to see the perks that I've been loving for the month, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first item that I want to was actually a brush. This is basically one of those artiste dupes, if you will. I bought this for $2 off eBay. I just love how it applies foundation so easily. Like, you can just swipe it, and it's really, really good for, like, cream contouring and stuff if you want to just distribute the product quite accurately. Um, I also like this brush because it doesn't absorb as much foundation. Therefore, I don't need to use as much foundation. Normally, I use about two pumps. Since I've been using this brush, I've been using one pump or sometimes a pump and a half. So I've definitely been seeing results, like in terms of it not absorbing as much product. It does take a little bit longer to kind of blend the products into the skin, but seriously, the results are so worth it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this brush. It was under $2. I seriously don't think that you can go wrong at all. For foundation favorite, I've been adoring the Kojendo Aqua Foundation. This looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. I do have first impressions filmed, but I don't know where I'm going to have time to edit and upload it. But once I do, I'll definitely link it down below. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But seriously, this foundation is absolutely gorgeous. It lasts beautifully throughout the day. I do have quite normal combination skin, so I do have some oils that come through. And I feel like this does last. It does say that it's an aqua foundation, and you would think that it's like super, super dewy and it's going to like run off your face. Definitely not. It's a beautiful, beautiful foundation, and I definitely feel like it does last quite a long time. It's definitely worth the money. This month, I've been cream contouring a lot recently, and I've fallen back in love with my Maybelline Fit Me Stick. I have mine in the shade 330. I believe this is called Toffee Caramel. Um, you can see that mine's like formed a nib. Basically, I just draw this onto my face, and then I use this brush that I also bought off eBay. It's like a Real Techniques dupe, um, and I just literally like tap it out and it just goes amazingly. Don't buff it like this because you'll move the product underneath. Just tap it and seriously, it's gorgeous. These two together are like a match made in heaven. Love them so much. You guys have no idea. For eyebrows, I found, I think, I don't want to jinx it, but I think I found my holy grail brow pomade. Like what? Stop. Hold the press. I think I found a new brow pomade that I love. This one's from Illamasqua. I remember when I first started my channel, I was obsessed with the Illamasqua brow cakes. So from what I've tried, I feel like Illamasqua does do their brow products pretty well, considering that was my holy grail for a very, very long time, and then I switched to pomades. They recently came out with this. I think it's called their Precision Brow Gel. I have mine in the shade Strike, and it's what I have in my eyebrows today. I probably could have worn a shade darker, but... I don't know, I feel like I could have just put a bit more product in there if I want to be a bit darker or if I want a lighter brow, just use less product. Seriously, since I've started using this, I have not used anything else, basically. This stuff is bomb, it's amazing, like it doesn't dry out like the Anastasia one. It's not too creamy, but it's not too dry either. It's just like a perfect happy medium, an amazing brow pomade if you're in the market for that type of product. The next product that I want to show you is from the drugstore. It's from the brand Models Prefer, and it's one of those like three-in-one kind of products. This is their Mineral Soft Touch Powder. I love it so much that almost the writing is starting to like, most of the writing is starting to rub off. Eek. Anyway, this one is in the shade Glow Number no. 2. They also have a Glow Number no. 1, which is more of a pinky type. I don't know. I didn't really have an interest for that one, but this one looked absolutely gorgeous. So I picked it up, and oh my golly, this is so amazing. On a daily basis for bronzer, I've been using these two shades and then kind of on top of that as like a kind of bronzer slash blush topper, I've been mixing these two shades together. Seriously, like it makes just the most amazing glow to the skin. Like they're not super shimmery, but they're not a matte bronzer either. They do have quite a satin finish to them, which I think is very, very beautiful and very, very natural on the skin. They don't look too dry or powdery. They just apply like a dream. If you can get your hands on it, it's seriously so good. I think it's about $20 from Priceline, which is a little bit pricey, I know, but hold out for the Priceline 40% off sale because seriously, these are bomb. 
so for the month of February, I've been all about that glow life, kind of just looking very, very radiant, very natural. Not like natural as in like no makeup natural, but like natural glam natural. So underneath my foundation, I've been loving using the MAC Cream Colour Base in the shade Luna. I also use Pearl. I kind of alternate between the two, but for some reason, I just always seem to gravitate towards Luna a little bit more. I feel like it's because it's just a little bit more stark, so it just looks a little bit more intense. I do have it on, on my cheekbones today, but I did put a highlighter over the top, so you can't really see. But on a daily basis, when I don't want to use powder highlighter, this is amazing underneath foundation. I wouldn't recommend it over the top just because the foundations that I've tried using it on top of, it's always broken it down, so I always use it underneath. But when I use it underneath, I have no problems at all. If you're in the market for a cream color base, definitely check out MAC Blue. I feel like I'm talking like 150 miles a minute. Like, I'm so sorry if I'm going really, really fast. I'm just a little bit hyper today. <laughs> anyway, so for eyeshadow, obviously, February is associated to Valentine's Day. I'm not the biggest like fan of Valentine's Day. Like I'm not anti Valentine's Day, but I'm not like, I'm not like, oh my God, it's Valentine's Day. I need to do something like whatever to each their own. But anyway, I do like getting into like the pink theme and things like that. So I've been obsessed with this makeup forever shadow, which I picked up at IMAT. This one is the eyeshadow. They don't really have names. They just have numbers, but this is the ME. 612. It's such a gorgeous pinky color. It just looks amazing on the eye and I love it so much. I can swatch it for you guys. It's seriously just a really, really beautiful, not in your face pink, but it's still like got subtle rosy hues to it. It's just really, really gorgeous. And lucky last item is actually a hair item. Now, I've never really been into dry shampoos. I tried one from Batiste quite a while ago, but it was like their XXL volume one. And it just, it made my hair feel really strange and I didn't like it and it did not feel clean at all like what people said. But I recently did pick up a Batiste dry shampoo again just because I was like, hey, I should give it another try. Maybe I don't get one with the volume thing in it. And seriously, it is so good. I think the next time I buy it, I might get the tinted one. Um, but this one, it's just the fruity, cheeky cherry scent. Does that even matter? I don't think so. But what I do with this is I basically spray it in my hair and I let it absorb the oils and then I will brush it through. Through. Um, I feel like if I just spray it, then brush it out, it doesn't really do much. But if I spray it and then leave it in there for a few minutes and then I come back and then I like toss all my hair through, it works amazingly. So yeah, I don't feel like there's anything else for me to share with you guys for this month in terms of my beauty favourites. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and definitely comment down below what you've been loving for the month of February as well. And maybe I'll pick up some new products. I don't know. I've been on such a buying like kick lately. It's so bad. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.